this just uh, this just wasn't it. Welcome to the horror hour. Hello, welcome back to the Horror Hour. My name is Yutaka, and this is typically the place where we discuss, debate, and disagree on all things horror. But today, I'm actually going to be doing a review of a recent release, Children of the Corn. I know what you're saying, like, another Children of the Corn? Well, wait, there's... Seriously, the marketing's been a little bit off on this because I don't think anybody knows that this is coming out. Um, That being said... It's out, and it's actually in quite a few number of theaters, at least showing here anyways. It's the 12th entry in the franchise. So honestly, again, if you're going to be the 12th entry in the franchise, you better bring it. Um, Or go full camp. Just saying, because remember, Jason X did that, and we all had a blast. This version of Children of the Corn, it stars Elena Kimporos, Kate Moyer, Callan Mulvey, and Bruce Spence. It's written and directed by Kurt Wimmer. Uh, this was this filmed actually in 2020, uh, but obviously due to pandemic and everything else, it was held. So this particular one, the producer had stated he wanted to do something new. So it has almost no ties to the 1984 original. Uh, it it's loosely going to take some some ideas, but truthfully, it's has nothing to do with that. And so the basic synopsis is possessed by the spirit of a dying cornfield, a 12-year-old girl in Nebraska recruits the other children in her small town to go on a bloody murderous rampage and kill all the adults and also anybody who opposes her. And so the town's only hope is a bright high schooler who just won't go along with her plan. Uh, so that's the overall synopsis and my overall thoughts before we get into the positives and negatives. <sighs> and this one was a bit of a chore. It really was. Um, I, I wasn't a fan. Uh, there were things I did like about it, but I'm, I'm going to have more negatives than positives. So the uh, first thing I would start out with, though, is I really actually enjoyed the opening because it was quite twisted. And I enjoyed the idea that maybe they were going to be more than just the initial villain. Like, obviously, this little girl, Eden, she, she's going to be the villain. However, this paints a different picture that there could be more. And I quite like that. I also will say there were some scenes uh, where I think they did good with some of the effects in terms of the blood and the gore. So, And you know I'm a gore hound. So I truly, truly appreciated that. But those would be the positives. I know. (laughs) Let's talk negatives. Okay, first off, uh, the main character... Uh, you know, she is, it's that, well, that trope of where she's got a scholarship, she's going off, and so she's leaving her brother behind, and so he's resenting her. Honestly, that I get. That Give me that story. That's cool, because I could totally see that in a small town America. The problem is, it doesn't feel like there's any actual emotional connection between the two, so I don't even believe that they're brother and sister. Now, maybe this could have just been a lack of chemistry between the actors, or also maybe lack of writing, because I I don't think they did a lot to establish characters within this film. And to further on that, they didn't actually do a lot to establish the lore in this film. You know, they... Again, they certainly hinted at it. He who walks behind, or well, he who walks, instead of he who walks behind the rose, that's fine if you're going to do he who walks. But who is he? Like, what? what is happening? Obviously, the corn, you know, cornfield is talking to her. But again, they're still, they're, they're just lacking more um, story right there. Uh, and furthermore, one of the things that Children of the Corn typically has going for it, creepy kids. Seriously, creepy freaking kids. And I, 
I don't think that um, we got that in this. Instead of having, um, you know, this little girl who is creepy, I found her to be more annoying and bratty. And again, that may just be given the little in terms of dialogue that she had. Um, because I, I don't necessarily want to say it's completely on the acting. But I just... Uh, my gosh, her character really just rubbed me the wrong way. And not in like the, you know, freaks me out and oh my god, I need to run away. It's more just like, I want to knock her out. The film also, it just feels a bit choppy. It feels like several different films because again, I don't feel like we're getting the entire story. I just don't. While yes, this little girl is being possessed and she's recruiting... I kind of wanted to see, like, the kids round up the adults. I, I mean, come on. Like, there had to have been at least a moment where maybe one of the adults fought back and, you know. And on top of that, if you're going to introduce characters that are just going to be cannon fodder, let's see those kills happen. That's just me. I mean, and it could have been also budget. So that might be why you just, you know, find their corpses. And I think they do a good job in terms of just showing you the effects of that. But I just, I think there could have been more. That third act, that goes bonkers. And not like, oh, like, what the? F I, I mean, there is just this amount of, <laughs> I mean, uh, there's just a lot of CGI. Let's just put it that way. That's all I'm really going to say. Because who knows, you might go and see it. Um, but truthfully, you know, I think Children of the Corn, it has a great setup. Um, but it still requires the finesse to put it all together, to craft a story, to create that lore. But on top of that, we just needed real character development. And maybe just a better antagonist? Uh, I, I just, I don't know. You know, again, Children of the Corn really relies on creep factor. Not like jump scares or anything like that, but I never felt like I got that. Um, I do applaud them, you know, for some good gory moments, but overall this film just wasn't for me. I, I mean, if I had to rate it, I would give it a 1 out of 5. I... It's... Like, I'm sighing here, and it truly is, because it was, it was just a struggle. Um, which is a shame, because again... I remember Children of the Corn growing up, and I'm very, I love one through three. All right, so if you liked my review, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we put out new content. Furthermore, uh, let me know in the comments down below, do you plan to see Children of the Corn? No judgment, go for it. Let me know down below. If you're gonna see it, if you're not gonna see it, are you a fan of the franchise? Have you seen any of the recent ones? Honestly, I only knew one through six, so the fact that this is the 12th entry, mind blown. With that, um, I will say, till next time, bye. You have been listening to the Horror Hour. See you next time.